In the heart of the ancient world, along the coasts of the Aegean Sea, the first sparks of scientific thought emerged. The people of ancient Greece dared to ask questions that would reshape humanity's understanding of the universe. The journey from myth to reason was not just philosophy. It was the beginning of science. It all began with Thales of Miletus, often called the first philosopher and scientist. Thales believed that the essence of all things was water. He sought natural explanations for the world, breaking away from the tradition of attributing phenomena to gods and spirits. Though his idea seemed simple, Thales' belief that the world could be understood through observation and reason was revolutionary. He opened the door to a new way of thinking, one based on inquiry and logic. From the island of Samos came Pythagoras, a thinker who saw the universe in terms of numbers and patterns. Pythagoras declared that mathematics was the key to understanding the world, a language that revealed the harmony of the cosmos. His insights went beyond mathematics, influencing music theory and astronomy. Pythagoras' ideas would resonate through time, establishing a connection between science and mathematics that endures to this day. Heraclitus of Ephesus saw the world not as something fixed, but as an ever-changing flow. No man ever steps in the same river twice, he proclaimed, illustrating his belief that change is the only constant. Centuries before modern atomic theory, Democritus envisioned a universe composed of tiny, indivisible particles. He called them atoms, believing that everything in existence, no matter how solid, was built from these fundamental units. Though his ideas were dismissed for centuries, Democritus's atomic theory foreshadowed discoveries that would revolutionize physics and chemistry in the modern era. Among all the thinkers of ancient Greece, Aristotle sought to categorize and systematize knowledge. His curiosity spanned biology, physics, ethics, and politics, creating a framework for scientific inquiry. Aristotle emphasized the importance of observation. He believed that by studying the world in detail, humans could uncover the purpose and nature of all things. His methods would shape scientific inquiry for centuries. The ancient Greeks dared to ask questions no one had asked before. Their ideas, rooted in curiosity and reason, planted the seeds of science. From the smallest particle to the furthest star, our quest to understand the universe began with these early thinkers. Over 2,500 years ago, the ancient Greeks ignited a spark that would change the course of human history. They asked the questions we still ask today. What is the universe made of? Why do things change? How can we understand the world around us? Their answers marked the beginning of both philosophy and science, two fields that would shape the modern world. The first known philosopher, Thales of Miletus, took the bold step of separating science from mythology. Around 600 BCE, Thales proposed that water was the basic element that formed everything in the world, from the earth beneath our feet to the sky above. Although this idea might seem simplistic today, Thales's approach was revolutionary. Instead of invoking the gods to explain the world's mysteries, he sought natural causes, a method that would lay the foundation for scientific thinking. Not long after Thales, another thinker expanded the search for truth beyond physical matter. Pythagoras of Samos believed that the universe could be explained through mathematics. He argued that numbers weren't just tools for counting, they were the very essence of reality. 
Pythagoras and his followers discovered that the same mathematical ratios used to create harmonious sounds could also describe the movements of the stars. In doing so, they revealed the hidden patterns that unite music, mathematics, and the cosmos. While Pythagoras searched for order, Heraclitus of Ephesus found meaning in chaos. He believed that the essence of life lies in constant change and transformation. To Heraclitus, the world was in a state of perpetual motion. You cannot step into the same river twice, he said, for the river is always flowing and you yourself are changing. This idea that change is the fundamental nature of reality would shape future scientific theories about evolution and the forces of the universe. While individual thinkers like Thales and Democritus made significant strides, it was within Plato's academy that philosophy began to flourish systematically. Plato, a student of Socrates, believed that the physical world was only a shadow of a higher, perfect reality, what he called the world of forms. To Plato, science was not just about observing the material world, but about understanding the deeper truths that lay beyond it. He taught his students to seek knowledge not just through observation, but through reason and contemplation. The ancient Greek philosophers didn't have telescopes or microscopes, but they gave us something even more valuable, the idea that the universe can be understood through reason and observation. From Thales to Aristotle, these early thinkers laid the groundwork for the sciences we know today. Their legacy lives on, not just in our textbooks, but in the way we explore the world, asking questions, seeking answers, and forever reaching toward the unknown.